Good morning, good morning. Let's start the day this morning with a nine. Love you. Hello friends and good morning. My name is Claire and this is my channel, Woodshed Theory. Here I make videos about what it's like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. I totally forgot to mention I put out videos three times a week. I haven't had been, blah, 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 blah. I haven't even had a sip of coffee yet. Now I have. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Maybe first I should address the elephant in the room. I'm not wearing any makeup. Just kidding. I dyed my hair and I did not make a video about it. So I guess I should talk about yeah. it here. So I had most of the green washed out of the smoky green from Lunar Tides. And I had half a container of the smoky green left and a full container of Lunar Tides in Juniper Green. I just mixed them together and it is much more intense than my last green color, but I just can't get enough of it. I can't stop looking at it. It has this like velvety texture going on. So maybe I'll just keep it green for a while before I have to cut it all off to save the whales. Speaking of whales, I find out that they want to go see, they as in our friends, a special 35th, 30th anniversary showing of Star Trek IV, A Journey Home. The premise of the movie is just so ridiculous, like going back in time to pick up two whales to save the future. <laughs> So I thought, okay, well, you know, we're in a pretty nerdy area. I'm sure the theater is going to be packed. But it was really just my partner and I and our friend. Why end a movie trilogy with that story? Some exciting things that happened last week. My friends, we hit 30,000 views on my channel. How exciting is that? Now, most of those are from my crochet videos. And yes, I know that I should do more of them to bring in more views. They just take a long time. I've got, a, I've got one in the works now. And I've just fallen out of love with the project. So I just have to finish it and then film the ending. Yeah, so 30,000 views on my channel. 556 or so subscribers. And... We're over halfway to the viewing time goal, which is, I think, 4,000 hours. To be monetized on YouTube, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000, 4,500 watch hours. So we're just about halfway, to, or we're just over halfway to our goal. And thanks. You know, sometimes it feels like things are going really slow, which isn't a bad thing for an ASD person. I'd rather just ease into it. But 30,000 is a lot. Maybe I should wear makeup more often. <laughs> so speaking of executive dysfunction, I have not set up my new rabbit enclosure in the way that I have wanted to. Because when we moved in, we kind of did a temporary setup. I had a bunch of ideas of how I should do the more permanent setup for how the rabbits are going to be. And I'm glad that I waited because I feel like now I've come up with the best option. At the time, it was going to be just really expensive. The way I had thought it out in my mind was going to be really expensive and really time consuming. So I decided to wait. And I have not enjoyed this time because... 
Currently the bunnies are under kind of a low chicken protection mesh so that the birds and raccoons don't get to them. But getting into that whole mess to clean them up and feed them, I'm doing my best, but I just, I'm not able to spend as much time with them, playing with them and giving them treats. Not the experience I want them to have and I feel like we could do better. And this week, their new enclosure is coming. It's a basically a 10 by 18, 10 by 20 chicken run with metal mesh all around it. And then I ordered metal mesh to go around the bottom so they can't dig out and nothing can dig in. I cannot wait. I already told my partner that we're having a party. We really enjoy their little company and their little feet and their little hops. And having them in the enclosure the way that they are now, like I can't really get to them. And poor Timmy, he needs a good brush out. I got an enclosure big enough that I could put like a nice chair in with them. I think we're going to do like an Adirondack chair so I can sit back with them and they can hop up on me and we can just enjoy our life together under the magnolia tree. This is some video. How was your week? Why did we move to a place that just burns? Real question. Fun story. We used to live in southern Texas where it just rains all the time and, and floods. And... When we moved here, I was like, oh, we're going to get away from that. And we sure did. Went to the opposite end of the spectrum. No flooding, just burning. Y'all had a lot to say on my video about stimming this last week. And I just want to say thanks for all of the comments. It has just been so encouraging to hear from everybody. I have never seen, maybe I just don't get around much, but I've never seen a YouTube channel with such thoughtful, long comments. And listen, I know it's because most of us are autistic. <laughs> this is just a joke, people. I'm just whispering it as a joke. <laughs> Autism. <laughs> But I'm I'm here for it and I love it. Like I just love reading everyone's comments and really getting a feel for people's experiences and emotions. But I could not have imagined that it would be like that. When I started a channel, I mean you could see how scared I was in my first video, but when I started a channel I really thought that it was going to be like... I was prepared for war. Like I, I was really prepared for the negative comments. Now, I know that the bigger our community gets, the more likely the hate comments will be. So I'm not worried about that because like I feel like that's a, the next step in our growth together. <laughs> when I started my channel, I just thought that, yeah, the hate comments are going to come. And I just didn't think at all that there'd be good comments. Like, that never crossed my mind. I figured, you know, my mom would be there cheering me on. But I never thought that anyone would want to share their experience or put time and thought and effort into the comments on my channel. You guys are just blowing me away. Sorry, have you ever heard the Monty Python song sit on my face? Kids, don't look it up. Guys, I think that's going to be it for me today. We have company. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that your weekend was just bananas. And I hope that you come back. So have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you.